Hi, I'm Nate Regeer with Next Element. In this episode, the three essential compassion skills for leading out of drama. When developed, the skills of openness, resourcefulness, and persistence will help you stay out of drama and generate more positive interactions with those around you. We invite you to join us on a journey from drama to compassion. Okay, getting my coffee, getting comfortable. Huh, where are we? What page are we on? I, I'm not sure what's going on here. Everybody seems to know what they're doing but me. I feel like an idiot if I ask a question. Maybe I can figure it out. No, this is a disaster. God, I'm so stupid. Wait a minute, I paid my money. I'm going to I'm going to ask. I have a right to know what's going on. I'll still be okay. I'm just going to raise my hand and ask for what I want. If you find yourself in the victim role and you're wanting to get more open, here are a few affirmations that are just for you. Your needs, feelings, and boundaries matter. You are worthy of pursuing what you want just like anybody else. How people respond to the real you does not define you. I am so ready for this meeting. It is about time we start focusing on what's important and making some decisions. Let me share with you a solution that I came up with. And actually, as I was thinking of you the other day, here's the strategy that's going to get you where you need to go. And for all of us, really, here's the most important thing. It's pretty obvious that this decision is where we need to be focused. Wow. You know, I'm really putting myself out there and, and providing all these solutions, and, and it's not really working the way I planned it. What I'm hoping for is to have everyone get involved and, and that we can all work together to find the best solution, to save some time, and really make some things happen. So how about I make myself available? And then I can work together with people. I can sit back and if people ask, I'm happy to provide the information, help them work on a solution together. Because after all, we're all capable. I know I'm smart, but so is everyone else. If you find yourself rescuing and you'd like to be more resourceful, remind yourself of these things. You are smart and capable. Others can be as well. You are most helpful when people ask you first. Be available for others. Don't do it for them. Wow. Am I the only one that's prepared for this meeting? Everybody is so lazy. What idiots. This is a waste of my time. I should just check my emails. Get more done that way. Man, what is wrong with people? Hang on a second. Yeah, I, I'm really passionate and I'm committed to our goals. But do I have to be so mean and attack and blame people all the time? It seems like it's just power struggle after power struggle. I'm putting my phone away. I'm going to be persistent because I am committed, I am passionate, and I'm perseverant. And I can use those skills to support people and preserve their dignity. Because we're in this together, and it's a two-way street. You know, I'd rather be respected than have people be afraid of me. And I bet if I held people accountable and preserved their dignity, they would give more. And we'd get more done. I like this. It's going to be a good day. If you find yourself persecuting and would like to be persistent instead, remind yourself of these things. You're not a quitter. That's admirable. By affirming the best in others, you will get their best effort. And sometimes, being effective is better than being right.
We invite you to use these affirmations to build your skills in openness, resourcefulness, and persistence. In the meantime, I have a secret for you. Drama. It's good for ratings, bad for business.